From there, you go on an amazing run with 101er. That name is everywhere in Los Angeles. It was. You also, <laughs> it was. It was. You also begin doing throw-ups with the 101 freeway logo behind your name. How do you come up with that idea? Well, living in Los Angeles, it wasn't a far reach. It was, it was, I didn't come up with it. You know, the Interstate Freeway Commission that made that logo came with it. Like, how did I steal the idea? Because I was a young kid and it was given to me and it was readily available. One thing I learned from that experience is, is uh, imagery recognition. Not necessarily I was up or I was dope, but uh, that was an image you saw already. So when you saw it outside of the place it was supposed to be, it was kind of like, that's weird. That shouldn't be there, but... That's kind of what made it as catchy as it was, I think. I, I recognize that myself just looking at it. You know, people are like, oh, it's a really dope thing. Like, not so much about the, the graffiti, but that little freeway thing was really cool to everybody. And it was like, it was imagery. Do you remember everyone's reaction when they first see that logo? Your friends, what do they say about it? Well, like, when they, my friends first saw it, my friends knew. They knew it was. They are probably with me when I did it. I don't know everyone else's reaction because I probably wasn't with them when they first initially saw it. I had no idea, you know? Can you name, actually, what school are you attending at this time when you start writing 101er? Gotta say, probably Marshall. Yeah, Marshall, yeah. You've also attended several schools in your career. Can you name some of the schools that you've that you've been in? All those shitty institutions. Let's see, Marshall, fuck them. Fairfax, fuck them. Uh, Belmont, Newmark, Walt Whitman. Fuck all these people. I mean, yeah, I graduated, but yeah. Those places, yeah. Why would you transfer from school to school? Were you getting in trouble? Were you getting well, caught writing? I was a high school prodigy. I was a genius. They didn't have enough academics to keep up with me. No, nah, I was fucking up. I was getting kicked out of school. I was truant. I was vandalizing shit. I was, man, the truancy was my big thing. I just didn't want to go to school. You know, like, there was other stuff for me to do in eight hours of a day than go to school, you know? While on this run, hitting up 101 everywhere, how would you find time to go out and write? Would you sneak out of your house? Would you ditch school to go writing? Well, at this point, I'm living, my parents were separated at this point. So I live with my mom and not, she's, not to say she was a carefree parent, but she wasn't, she wanted me to go to school and that was pretty much a bath. Like what she expected me to go out with my friends and do what kids do. She wasn't restricted. Like, like maybe like, she gave me idle time to go out and be with my friends, which led to creativity. And so really, I was like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. My mom knew I was doing artwork. She saw my creativity, like, you know, so you know, I, I, the time was always there, I guess. It was just, the time was made. When you like something, you know, like how do you get the time to go play basketball or go skateboard or do anything else you want to do? You make the time if you really, you know, the time, same 24 hours a day, what you do with it, what I do with it, you know, that story, you know? Where were some of the important places you would go riding? Downtown, Hollywood, where were your favorite spots? What depends what you consider riding. I mean, like, my favorite place is to my favorite place to have ever ridden in my career. That was like the playground forever, which will never be the same. No matter how much you try to bring it back, would be the LA Riverbed, probably from like Glendale down to like Vernon. That was just a big ass playground, which is adjoining train yards and bridges and cuts and a band. It was just everything, like hands down. I mean, yeah, it's a part of downtown, but that part in specific until it got buffed was like. That was like a Hall of Fame at one point. I, was still, I used to go down there and see graffiti from back in the 90s and the 88. Like I'm talking to writers, people I haven't even heard about down there. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, the LA Riverbed. That was, that was the fun times, good times. At this time when you're writing 101er, do you remember some of the other writers that would influence you or that you'd look up to? Fuck, that's a long ass list. I mean, obviously, the people closest to me obviously influenced me. So, like, Sheik and Bayer, the, the ones that got me on game. Those ones, like, this is what it's about. These are these crews, this and this and this. You know, like, at the first point, out of my own, when I was one on one or just doing my own thing, who influenced me? <sighs> Fuck, there's a shitload. I feel like if I'm going to say a couple of names, I'm going to forget a whole bunch of other ones. My first younger influence was probably Sisk and Bash, because, like, those are close people to me. So, those ones actually took me out painting to like spots and like putting me on game. And it's also like who influenced like what different aspects of graffiti, like 
one person didn't influence my whole career. Like, I look at tags, like, damn, Oilers up everywhere. That's back when Tulsa's live, rest in peace. Tulsa's up everywhere. Like, you know, I mean, Panic had tags there. I wanted to be. There was a lot of people out there, like, with tags, my old poise tags. I remember, like, Sham tags, Joust, Prell, like, Harm tags. Like, there's there's a lot of people out there, dude. Like, I can say the most cliche, oh, Chaka, but yes, yeah, everyone says, but like, there were so many other people out there besides Chaka, you know, like a little cab. Like, you see cab doing shit. I remember when cab had tags in the street. I remember seeing, like, old, like, Moscow tags. Tags, remember old temp tag, temp tags, and old like nuke and duke tags, and like silhouettes in downtown, like old snap tags, skill tags, master, like old skate tags. Like, I could go on. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, all these names I'm listing are just what's popping in my head, and I'm fucking forgetting like a hundred plus people. One of the first person who really put the relevance of like going everywhere to me was this dude Shower from CBS. He's from LOD for a while. Like, I don't know where he's at now, but like he lived down the street from me and like he was like the older tagger. I would say, wow, this guy skates around and he's a brother too, not a lot of black taggers. And you know, he's just skating around here, catching these tags in my neighborhood. But then I'm going across the city and I'm seeing his tags down Wilshire and Merrill's like, wow, he's really like, that's kind of cool. He has all these tags around the city. And like, you know, like when you put two and two together, like big influence, like yards were influences, Belmont, you know, like Motor, uh, Sanborn, you know what I'm saying? Belmont, like, you know, like, uh, fucking uh, uh santa fe yard levitt's fletcher's uh, tree line like tracks all like, those are all influences to you like so much shit but at this point remember i'm a little kid so i haven't seen all these yards yet but like these are all the people who like influence early graffiti like whoa like there's a lot of shit out there and like piecers and graffiti like hands down piecing like early cbs shit the sh's hands down sh's influenced me big time as a kid i used to sit in the yards and watch like asylum panic acme fucking all these dudes just going at it all day, fucking uh, pr a precise, fucking just killing wall, slaughtering shit, like whole productions in the Fletcher Yard, like, yo. Know? I watched, uh, I would just sit there as a kid and watch like Bash and Size just go at walls, knocking out shit. I used to be a little kid at John Burroughs going down to Melrose and seeing mirror paint stuff and watching Hex Paint just tripping out. Like, I didn't, they didn't know who I was. I had no idea who they were. I just knew these guys were fucking dope, like, you know? Like, yeah, there's a lot of people, you know? I remember Krenz and shit. I remember being a little kid seeing Krenz and shit, like AM7 and shit, like down there off of like Vermont at this gas station, waiting for the bus to go home in Vermont or Wilshire. And there was this big brick wall with like this Krenz AM7 tag all chrome. Like, and like, remember, I'm a kid at this time looking at this shit. Like, how the fuck can, like, well, my tag looks cool, but what the fuck is this shit? Like, this is mind blowing. Like, Melrose Alley's, like, it just blew my mind. And it all started from like that subway art and knowing. This is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this tagging shit is cool, but, like, I really like this big shit. That shit looks, the colors are nice. That's nice shit. It's a long-ass answer, but, you know.